Hey, this is John Carlos, and I'm here with the San Diego Comic Con 2014 exclusive Funko Pop of Luke Skywalker Hoth and Wampa. And one thing that I like about it, just want to mention, is I like that Luke is packaged upside down. There's the arm. And here's Luke, the bobblehead. But I hate the little Star Wars bobblehead stand, so I take that off. First thing I want to mention to you guys is the arm. If you're expecting the arm to attach in some way, uh, I hate to disappoint you guys, but this arm does not attach. This is truly an armless Wampa Pop with the arm as like an accessory piece or as a separate piece. There is no magnet in there like a Headless Herschel or Headless Ned Stark. The plastic is not sculpted in any way that would connect. So if you wanted a regular Wampa with like, uh, you know, two arms attached, this might not be the one for you, but it is a very cool exclusive, I think. Here's a look at the inside of this arm. One of the things that I dig is that they uh, painted this area not only red in the, in the circle stump, but also kind of dripping down his fur. I think that was a nice touch. Now, I've already reviewed this figure, the regular version, so I won't get too much into details, but I will tell you that I do think the sculpting on the fur is really, really well done. I think they did a great job sculpting all that fur and kind of the shape of it in the chest. I think his arms look cool. This one's got really good paint on his claw areas. I think the claws turned out really good on this one. You know, I kind of grabbed this one off the shelf. I didn't pay too much attention to like the details like I normally do. You know, I don't want to waste too much time at the Funko Pop store. There are other people waiting in line behind me. Um, I mostly just checked to make sure he had a clean enough face, and this one does. He's got a really clean mouth area. You can see the separation between the teeth and the red mouth space really well. The black lines that kind of form the corner are not too far off or too far in. And his eyes are perfectly well done, so I think, gosh, those eyes turned out great. I'm really happy with that. There's a little kind of bit of paint missing in the middle of his nose, but that's really not too bad. I think the worst of it is just this little gray smear by his horn there, which really isn't that bad. If anything, you know, maybe the horn's not painted all the way on there, but I mean, you take, I don't know, half a step back, you don't even really notice that stuff. I really do dig this arm accessory, though. And just for comparison's sake, here is the con exclusive Wampa and the regular Wampa bobblehead. Now, I was paying attention to the details of the Wampa when I was picking out this two pack, so I didn't really notice any of the little paint defects on this pop, but uh, there are a few which I will go into now. Nothing too crazy, but um, you can see this kind of paint kind of blood over right here on the line onto the back of his helmet. Uh, overall, this line is just so not clean. There's a sculpt here and then it bleeds past the sculpt. Doesn't kind of meet the sculpt there. That whole line's pretty rough. So there's this little schmutz here where the goggles meet the strap. And then lastly, where this cloth hangs over there's sort of paint bleeding onto the rest of his uh, helmet. Also, his face is missing some paint right there. And if I want to get totally like douchey nitpicky, there's a little glob of white paint on the blood. But there's some great things about the paint on this figure on the chest area. Look at that little tiny thing. It's perfectly painted. Great tiny detail. I think they did a great job with that in this little section right here. Overall, the paint on his body is fantastic as is the sculpt. I love that they did a little cross uh, pattern sculpting on his legs. I think the boots are painted really well. I think the boots are sculpted really well. And there's a lot of good little details, not only in the texture there, but the uh, fact that they included all these little pouches. I don't know if you can see how uh, detailed they are right there, these little tiny buttons on the pouch. It looks great in the belt buckle. All this, I love that they included that into the sculpting and in the helmet. I love that they uh, included that piece too, because I think this is very well sculpted as well. But yeah, his his body, as far as the paint, the paint within the sculpt and the sculpt itself, very well done. And I like the lightsaber too, and that they included that top part of the hilt and didn't make it just some generic looking lightsaber. Um, the helmet is very well sculpted too. There's a lot of good things going on in this helmet. I may have criticized the paint a bit, but the fact they even sculpted that strap hanging down. Again, that pattern, that kind of cross pattern, they did a great job sculpting that, making it look even. It doesn't look shoddy at all. All these little pieces on the back, the sculpted line going around the edge, the uh, goggles look good. 
And the face turned out pretty good. I, first of all, I got really clean eyes. I'm a big stickler for clean eyes. It's a little tiny, a little rough around the edge, but it still looks like a circle. But I really like they included the blood, the scarring on here from the uh, initial Wampa attack. I think this is what makes this exclusive so cool and unique. I really dig this and it looks cool. I am very happy with this release. When the Wampa came out, I went out and snatched it up right away, and I had every intention of getting Hoth Luke, but I didn't see one in stores yet, and I'm really glad I didn't buy one or see one, because about a day or two after I bought the Wampa, Funko announced that they were doing this con exclusive two pack, and I'm really glad they made it, because I prefer this bloody Hoth Luke to the regular Hoth Luke. So I'm really stoked I managed to get one at Comic Con. I think this thing turned out awesome, so good job to Funko for that. It's really unique and cool. I dig it a lot. Thanks for watching.